So viewers, Mario has a secret. He wants you to think that he is the clean-nosed plumber, but in actuality, he has goop on it. I don't know where I was going with that. Hello, viewers, PNK94 here. Welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we failed a bunch at a secret level, along with the red coin portion of it. And we also opened up the lighthouse place that leads to Gelato Beach. So let's jump right in, shall we? <sighs> I said this before already, but I think my commentary is a lot better on this Let's Play than my other ones. Anyway, Gelato Beach, Episode 1, Dune Bud Sandcastle Secret. Crap. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is gonna end terribly. So, as you can see on this level, there's a bunch of blue thingies walking around that look kind of like weird ducks. Those are cataclacks. Something I actually know the name of because I hate them with a burning bloody passion. As if you're not careful, not you're not careful, <laughs> you can get caught in like a combo of that and it will hurt. If they're red, anyway. The blue ones are not so bad, they're kind of more passive, but the red ones? Oh, those get so annoying. Like, the, like over there, that red one over there. They will combo you like there's no tomorrow. Catacracks are also kind of the best way to get all these coins here. Is this one mean to spray? I don't know! No, it's, it's not that one. I did knock the Cataclacks over though. Wait, did I, just, did I just kill them? You can kill the Cataclacks? Huh. Oh no 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 Oh yeah, you can stun him with water too, by the way. Probably should have mentioned that. Can I jump on top of that? I know I can get inside of Why are they asleep? What am I boring you now? Ah, okay, you can't go on top of it. Go inside though. If you take too long it will disappear, but shouldn't be a problem. I remember this one being a bit of a bitch because of all of the sand and stuff. Because once you step on the sand, it starts going away. It might just be me, but I feel like you also move slower on it. Could be wrong. Um, I'm not sure if any of these nails drop any one-ups, but I'm going to go on the assumption that I won't need them because usually it's just that first secret mission. Actually, you know what? I don't usually fail that bad on secret missions. I'm probably just failing now because I'm doing a let's play. Cause that's usually how stuff happens, but I am going to make it a challenge to do at least one of these secret levels perfectly on the first try, with no failures. And yeah, well that'll be awesome! Oh my god, I almost failed right there. Okay, there's a one-up over there if you need it, but I did not need it, for I am PMK9, for I am the master of nothing and the expert of nothing, but silently light the good at not speaking. What? Anyway. That's it for the first shine of Gelato Beach. And that didn't take any time at all. So ha! I can be good at secret missions if I want to. Let's go back in. I think I'm gonna do is keep showing off like the first two shines of each new level we get before going back to finishing the uh, previous level that was opened. Or the first one that I still have to... I'm going back to Bianco Hills after this is what I'm trying to say. Mirror Madness, Tilt Slam, Bam, Episode 2. Yay! We have to get on top of the mirrors. What? Alert! Alert! Just look at the top of the tower! Uh-huh. I'm gonna go back to my argument of you guys need cannons. Or something. Use cannons. Some weird thing is curled up on the tower and taking a nap! Oh, you had to mention a nap, didn't you? This could endanger the legendary sandbird egg. Ah, the sandbird. Those who played this game before. You will know the evils of the sandbird. I won't go into them, but you should know the evils of the sandbird. If there's any level that I have a ton of trouble with consistently, it is the sandbird. But we're not at that point yet. Sadly, I'm going to have to complete it to complete this game. So basically, to kill these guys, you have to get to the edge, and then... And then that'll retilt the mirror, and for some reason, you wind up on a tree. Right? Tree? Yes, you wind up on a tree for some reason. It's 
okay, though. Trees are fancy. It's not a blue coin thing either. I'm not sure where that one leads to, actually. I'll figure that out later. But yeah, it's always going to be matching symbols of matching colors and whatnot, so it shouldn't be a problem or anything. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand. What? I had you! Man, get off the side of this thing, I had you! Right, so that's that first two out of the way. We just got one more, and then that big green worm dude is going to be very warm. Yep. Very warm, with no other possible repercussions. Or anything of the sort. With that. They're marching towards me. They're marching at me. Yeah, sometimes it's best to just do one at a time. Ah, hey. Stop it. Get your friend out here. If anyone can do all three at once, props to you. I have not done that before. I also like how those things just happen to perfectly align themselves with- Oh god, we killed something else. Mario, do you have something against the color green? Because you have killed two things so far that are the color green. <sighs> Mario. Also, if you didn't notice, this part of the beach is shaped like a shine sprite. I think it shows on the map, actually. Um, no, it does not. No, it does not. What does it say, though? Oh, there's things like that. Okay. So yeah, like you said, it's like a tourist map thing. That's pretty fancy. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think on the map you can also see if you have all the blue coins in an area or not. I could be wrong about that. It sounds like something familiar. Anyway, getting our shine sprites, and we are done with the first two episodes of Gelato Beach. I think we're going to head back to Rico Harbor now. Away! The fruit, fruit. Ah, you're on fire! You're on fire! Sir! 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 Sir, you're on fire! Stop running around so I can save you! Oh, look, that boat's moving. It means we can go places with it. Sir! You are on fire! Stand still so I can. What is wrong with you? Do you want to be saved? There we go, we saved him. Sir, sir, you're welcome. Ooh, you saved me. Thanks, the bundle. Yay, blue coin. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go. There's gonna be another series of blue coins later that we'll have to get that involves fruit, but I'm not gonna go into that quite yet. Instead, right, um, Yanko Hills. Hopped right past it. All right, what do we got next? I think it was the red coins. I never do so well with red coin missions. Don't worry, though. I will get this one. Anyway, earlier, I remember in the first episode, I was saying I wasn't sure whether I'd do the 100 coins along with the mission red coins. Anyway, I'm not sure we're going to do them along with things. I don't remember if they actually count towards the total in this game, but I guess we'll find out soon. I guess we will find out very, very soon. They do not! Okay, red coins by themselves it is. Ah, remember that X. <coughs> remember that X leads to. Uh, oh, another red M up here. Wait a second. Ah, I see. Well, clearly, easy way to get that is to just hang out up there. I'm not getting distracted, what are you guys talking about? That doesn't that never happens to me. What do you think I am? Um, someone who gets distracted easily? That's what I thought. Yes. 
So uh, would you please just go away and let me get my thing? And possibly give me tips on a better way to word that. You went to the triangle! Uh, sir. Oh my god, stop. Just, just go home. Go home. Stop it. Just stop it. Just let me get my thing. Okay, there's that. It's right over here. Right over here. There we go. So, those uh, question marks can really help you out there if you're not sure where the blue coin might have landed. Then, you can see where it landed. No crap. Alright, I probably could have gone around the easier way, but screw the easier way, I have a small amount of money. Um, Maria. Mario. Mario. Go. Getting the thing! Okay, two more blue coins under our belt. I don't know what they're doing down there, but we have them. Uh, let's go through this way. Okay, let's glitch to do that. I'm okay with this. Alright, so we got. I don't know how many. Oh, we have four more red coins. I can read, shut up. I just don't know where to look to read. Ah, 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 son of a... You son of a poop! Um, does that even like, help anything? Oh, hello there. Oh, wait, can I, like, move this around by doing this? Ah. Whee! What did I... That, that's a regular coin. This is the sound of a regular coin. Anyway, let's get over here. I see one down there in the water. Um, I think if you use the hover nozzle while you're in water, it'll make you go a bit faster. Could be wrong about that, though. Um, anyway, got four more red coins, I've already said. Let's get out of the water somewhere. I don't know about you guys, if I get a bit OCD about the water, because, like, if I just leave water and the thing's not completely full, it's like, I need to fill it again! And stuff. Ah, don't, don't you spin. Do not use spin yet. There's another one. No. Leave me alone. I don't like you. Ah! I don't like that either. Yay for wall jump. I probably should have kept going there. Hold on. Alright, number five. Uh, oh. Number six and seven. Those real quick. There's a bunch of these levels I don't remember ever doing as a kid for some reason. Don't you do that. Don't you do nothing to me. No. No, I have no idea where the last red coin is, but I feel like I should. Is it like down here somewhere? Please be down on the rope here somewhere. Rope. There's a rope down here somewhere. There's supposed to be a rope down here. Unless it's in a later level. Oh man, I'm so confused right now. Uh, okay, I think it's a later level that I'm thinking of. There is no rope down here. I remember there being red coins on a rope down- oh, wait, wait, there it is. We're good. I was in the wrong spot. Don't mind me. Wait. Arya, you're supposed to triple jump, you son of a plumber. I don't, I don't know if you're actually a son of a plumber or not. No, you are a plumber. That count? Doesn't count at all. Oh, crap. Oh, you can spray the bell too when it makes noises. Thought you guys might want to know that. Um, let's see. Let's try to get under there. Is to go to that side. Stay away from me. Hey, <laughs> hello, and you, whatever you are. I don't know what those are called either, and that bugs me. No worries, though, because we're going to win. Because winning! Whee! Shiny thing! Well, that took longer than it probably should have.
What? Did that take the whole episode up? I don't even remember. Or did I do the gelato beach thing in this episode, too? I think I did. I don't have short-term memory. What? Or wait, I mean, loss. What? Anyway, uh, I think we got time for one more. Let's see. PD Piranha Strikes Back. Oh, this is gonna end terribly. Probably should have saved this for another episode, but you know what? If this keeps going on, I'm finishing this in this episode. No matter what. No matter how much editing I have to do, it's going to be done in this episode. Okay. So he is up there. We need to get over there. Right, but you can spray these bells. I don't know if they actually drop anything, I just know that you can do that to them. I also know that there's that thing down there. Not sure if it really does anything or if you just kind of spray it to get over. Oh! You get a one up! Alright. Sweet. Ah! My face! Get out of my way. Nobody likes you. Except for the fact that you gave me a one-up. That's the only reason I like you. You almost hit me again. Son of a... Beaver... Thing. What? Once again, I have no idea where I was going with that. But what else is new? I can't even stand a chance. Also, if you couldn't tell, you can't do any, like, special jumps while you're on the goop. Also, these dudes, um, they like your nozzles. Or at least the spray nozzle. And they would attach themselves to you. Uh, what, what are these things anyway? They look like mutant pigs? I don't know, we need to spray them with PD over there. Speaking of which, how is he alive? I mean, I kind of, like, dissolved him into goop. I don't think you're supposed to be able to survive from something like that. Man. Right, so these things are pretty much only useful for waking him up as far as I know. Um, other than that... He's just kind of moving around. Get away from me, I don't need you. No, stay away from me. Piggy! Piggy! Ah! Oh, got another blue one here. Priorities! I have none. Ah, my face! Good. That was my face. Where's my coin? Is he, is he vomiting? I think he's vomiting up there, hold on. Yeah, he's like, wait. Get off of me, piggies! Does he not have a shadow? I think he's supposed to have a shadow. Oh, yeah, you didn't even have to hit him in the mouth for this part, you just gotta knock him down. Um, he also spawns tornadoes! Cheating. Son of a. Sark, get out of here. Seriously, if they're plants, why are they so opposed to tornadoes? I, I mean, the plants. And I think it might have been this level I was thinking of where P will um, get it slower if he's fat, because like, if he's flying, he's not going to be able to move around as easily while he's fat. So like the last fight, you have, hit, you have to hit him three times, but you know, he's gonna fly away like a yep. There he goes. He's getting a bit higher up. With a better vantage point. Camera! Camera! Is he laughing? I think he's laughing at us, guys. Petey? Petey? Petey! Ah! PD, are you just not even going to attack me while I'm up here? That's lame. You're lame. I don't want to play with you anymore. You're not fun. PD. PD. PD, what you doing over the PD. PD, are you stuck? PD. PD Piranha, are you stuck? PD. 
Do I have to be on the ground? I have to be on the ground, don't I? Payday! Oh my god, fine, I'll be on the ground. Ariel. Payday. Okay, that's where. He, okay, he got. Okay, that means he's getting tired because that sound. Okay. Well. All of the tornadoes, huh, PD? Well, I don't like you or your tornadoes. Mm! I need water soon. Don't worry, we got this. Fadas! What, PD? Come on. I mean, what did I tell you about that diet of yours? First, you broke down that one thing in the place of things of stuff, and now you keep getting fat from water. What have you been eating, sir? Or have you been? Eating, not eating anything is not the best way to lose weight, I hope you realize. In fact, you're gonna, you might get fatter. Somehow. I think that is actually a thing, though. Pretty go. Petey? Petey? You better not have turned into Spider- Spider-Man. I don't know how I got Spider-Man out of becoming invisible. But, wait, did I just hit that? Building. Hey, 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 stop it, just stop it. Also, no more tornadoes. Pity, I said no more tornadoes. I mean, come on, man. Was that invisible? That was invisible. I guess that is kind of more accurate of real life if it's an invisible tornado. But I'm not going to do that right now because PT is being a butt. PT, as your dietitian, I say you're fat. I think that's a thing they would say, right? Because they're totally not supposed to be friendly to their patients or anything, right? Doctor House isn't. Okay. So that went on for. About as long as I expected it to. Maybe a bit shorter than I expected it to, because it is me I'm talking about. Okay, you, do I get a Do I get a reward for saving you, sir? Woo, you saved me, thanks a bundle. Ah! Oh. Okay, that's just another way to get up there. Okay. That was a chuckster, by the way. Or something. They will chuck you if you do things for them. No, not like that. You know, like other kinds of things. Like favors. Normal favors. Remind me to keep remind me to include that disclaimer, future self. Or wait. Future self, this is a remind Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna stop talking to my future self during the editing process, and instead I'm going to end this episode. So, we beat PD Piranha. And I forget what we did before that, honestly. Um, I think we did, yeah, red coins. We got red coins. And next time, we're going to go back into Bianco Hills, and we are going, wait, what? Princess was kidnapped again. Okay, never mind. We're going to save the princess, because apparently she was kidnapped again. Hold on, Toadsworth, what's going on? Master Mario, the princess! Uh-huh. Use your words. Horrible, horrible. Princess Peach has been kidnapped. Okay, well, Peach was kidnapped again. Got twice in one game. Is that a new record? I think it's a new record for her. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, this has been PNK94. If you guys enjoyed the video, you know, like, subscribe, all that stuff if you want to. I will see you guys next time on Super Mario Sunshine, where we will save Peach again. See you guys then.